Hey, paisanos, welcome to the CCP Super Show. There's this thing that a certain type of intellectual engages in where they like to de-authenticate the common man's perceptions of stuff like Mexican food. This is a this one really eats me because I happen to be Mexican. I'm from the border. I'm from El Paso, Texas. I, I grew up in a bilingual home in a, in a bilingual town. I know Mexican food. Uh, we used to visit Mexico frequently. I, I, you know, not just in Ciudad Juarez across the border, but often, you know, down into the interior. My mom makes Mexican food, authentic Mexican food. I ate it like many times a week growing up. It was in my high school cafeteria. The lunch ladies, their specialty was Mexican food. This is just the way of life there. You know, tortillas. Every day, it was just life. So anyway, that, now that I have my credentials laid out for everybody, the point of my story is often you'll get these college types who uh, maybe they went on an excursion to Mexico or maybe they've taken some classes, but they come back and they like to browbeat people for their inauthentic apprehension of what real Mexican culture is. Cause you know, they've been there, they've lived it. They know exactly what they're talking about. Mexicans don't eat burritos. Mexicans don't eat tacos. What are you talking about? They don't eat tortillas and beans. Mexicans eat uh, all this other shit. Uh, and it's elusive. What is that other shit? What are they talking about? And it's never clear. You never know. What, what do you mean? What, what do Mexicans eat? You ask them. You dig. You probe. And you find, um, well, you know, they eat, um, you know, uh, chiles and uh, uh, chocolate and, and yeah, pollo. They eat pollo. Yeah, yeah. And how do they eat that pollo? What? Well, how do they prepare it? Well, they 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 serve it with spices and chile and uh, and what do they what do they do with the pollo when they're done spicing it? Where do they put it? Uh, they put it in um on a, like a flatbread. Or do they put it in a, in a tortilla and serve it with a side of beans? So it's like, but they always want to say like Taco Bell is not real Mexican food. Yeah, like, you know what? Taco Bell is Mexican food. I mean, it, it, it fulfills the formality of Mexican food. It, it's a tortilla with like some meat in it, right? And some beans in it. I mean, it's it's pretty close. It's it, what, it, what Taco Bell is, is low quality Mexican food. I had some roommates in, in college and they were Chinese and like it, another thing that Chinese Americans like to do is they love to browbeat people and say, well, Panda Express isn't real Chinese food. No real Chinese person would eat at Panda Express. And my Chinese roommates did like every day. And it's not that like Panda Express is like the best representation of Chinese food. It's not like it's the best quality, although it is pretty good to be to be honest. It's that, I don't know, I guess because like they'll, they'll point out little things like, well, General Tso's chicken, they don't really eat that in China. But it's like if you dig, you find that in southern parts of China, they really do eat a stir fried sweet meats that are cooked in a wok. I mean, it's not that different. It's it's not so different that you can really say it's not like analogous or, 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 or even close to the same thing. And it's the Panda Express company is owned and originates with Chinese people. You know, I don't think Taco Bell does. I think Taco Bell's like wider than alpine skiing. But I know that Panda Express is originally owned and operated by Chinese people out of California, you know? So at least by virtue of that, it deserves some credit as a Chinese restaurant. Anyway, it's something that bothers me. And I think, forget about like attempting to classify authentic foods into the right categories. I say, if the person you're talking to says such and such is Mexican food, just let them believe it. If you don't think tortillas or burritos are Mexican because somehow you think that's racist because you think that, that burritos are inferior food and that Mexicans ought to be associated with finer food, I, maybe that's a little racist. I have met people that claim that burritos don't come from Mexico, but they do. They come from Northern Mexico and they're very popular in Juarez, Ciudad Juarez, that's Mexico. They eat burritos. They don't eat the same, they don't eat like these giant stuffed burritos like you get like at Ruby or chipotle but it certainly is a burrito it's a big old flour tortilla stuffed full of meat and sometimes other stuff you know sometimes it gets close to like what you expect but anyway i think just let people believe what they want to believe about the authenticity of their food if they said they went to an authentic japanese restaurant and it's and you find out it's benihana's just let them just let it ride because you know at the end of the day probably it's probably more true than it is false it's probably the case that benihana has some sort of at least japanese 
Japanese American origins. And that, I think that's sufficient. I mean, what is Chinese food anyway? What is American food? What is Mexican food? It's like whatever the people who prepare it say it is. If uh, Chinese people start making hamburgers in China, isn't that Chinese food? I mean, after what, like 20 or 30 years, they're going to put their own spin on it and it's going to become its own thing. And then who's to say it's American food at that point? Isn't it just Chinese food? What about ramen? In Japan, they see ramen as Chinese food. Ramen. It's the same word as lo mein. We say lo mein, the Japanese say ramen. I'm sure we're both wrong. Ramen, lo mein, whatever the Chinese say, is supposed to be the same thing. And it's a Chinese noodle soup, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with the way Chinese people prepare it. It's become an authentically Japanese dish, and when we eat ramen, we think of it as Japanese. Many people think of it as the quintessential Japanese food, next to sushi. And yet, in Japan, it's like Chinese street food. Anyway, it's just an interesting thought. It's a thing that bothers me. The question of authenticity really ought to come always from the people who represent that culture. Never speak on behalf of another culture. Don't pretend that you know more about other cultures than the people who are from them. And uh, honestly, just uh, let people believe what they want. In fact, I should let you believe what you want. So I'm going to shut up now.